Konnichiwa, and welcome to Suki no Ame, where we try Japanese snacks and treats. Today we're doing something a bit different, as I'm sure you can see. So when Tokyo Treat sent me over my stuff this month, they included this package of what they called Tanaki Yakisoba. Now, I adore yakisoba. I love yakisoba. It is so easy to make and is so tasty, but as I'm sure you've probably noticed, this is, you know, this has been shipped from Japan. And so it's, it's firm noodles. These are noodles that need to be cooked kind of like, you know, ramen, uh, ramen packets that you would get. I usually, when I make yakisoba, get these, which uh, are a bit different. So I get these, uh, I get these in the same section where you'd find things like tofu in my local grocery store, but I've also seen them in the Asian markets. Uh, these noodles have to be refrigerated because they are pre-cooked. And so all you have to do is kind of loosen them up, uh, you know, while you're making your uh, toppings, you know, sauteing your, sauteing your vegetables and whatnot, and then add them in. And so this is going to be my first time making them where I have to actually boil the noodles first. Uh, uh, some of you may know this, some of you may not. Yaki literally means uh, grilled. So yaki soba is grilled soba noodles. Uh, they're so good. If you haven't had the chance to try them, I highly recommend. Uh, it might take a little bit of digging depending on where you are, but uh, as I said, I've been able to find those at my local grocery store. I've seen them in Asian markets. Um, I'm sure there are places where you, I, I've heard that you can order them online. Uh, if nothing else, apparently you can get them where uh, you boil the noodles yourself. Uh, you know, and that's of course assuming that you don't want to go just, you know, try to find your local Japanese restaurant. Uh, not all of them have it. I haven't seen them in ramen, sorry, ramen shops or sushi shops, but uh, I have seen it in more a larger uh, Japanese restaurants that tend to have a broader menu. They also sent me this, which they call Kobe Japanese Cola, and they said it's uh, been given a bit of a flavoring from a Japanese citrus fruit. Uh, they did not tell me which one, so I'm not sure how this is going to taste, but we're going to give this a shot with our yakisoba. So wish me luck! And I'm back! So I do have to say, uh, first and foremost, is that this cooked up much quicker than I thought it was going to. Uh, it took hardly any time for the noodles to cook. And then uh, one of the steps was to uh, lower the heat and keep cooking until the water evaporated. That happened near instantly. It was crazy. Uh, that said, I will, I do have to admit, I usually get a little bit more than this, uh, in my bowl using the kits that I usually use. Uh, that said though, you know, just uh, different brands are going to give you different amounts and, uh, it certainly smells good. And with how quick it cooked up, um, while I, I'm certainly going to keep buying this, uh, the yakisoba noodles I have been, I'm definitely going to if i see something like this available online or in my local stores i uh, i will definitely have to be giving uh yakisoba kits where you have to boil the noodles yourself a try uh just because of how quick and easy that was to cook up uh, it it went so smoothly so let's try this shall we itadakimasu Also, I'm sure you've noticed, right? Oh, jeez, it's just steaming. It looks so good. I'm sure you noticed that I don't have any toppings in here. And part of it is, is I want to try just the noodles and the sauce on their own. Uh, and I didn't want anything like toppings, uh, vegetables, meat, or anything like that distracting me from the flavor of the noodles. Um, the kit that I get, uh, yes, I usually make that with. Uh, I. I stir fry up, uh, I saute up some vegetables and I throw in like some chicken or uh, some other type of meat, but I have had that kit just plain. And I know that 
I do just love the flavor of the noodles and the sauce alone. And so I just want to make sure I'm, I'm testing this for this as opposed to how well it blends with one type of vegetable or another without knowing kind of the base flavor. Ugh, I'm trying to get like a little piece and it's sticking together so much. These noodles are so sticky. Hmm. Um, so they're definitely stickier than the noodles I usually make, but it's really good. It's got that good yakisoba flavor. It does seem to have like a little bit more of a kick. I'll need to compare it to I'm going to have to make my normal kit soon, which is good because I need to cook those up to uh, compare. Um, I think I prefer the other ones a little bit better, but these are really pretty good. They're really tasty. They're just, uh, and they cooked up so fast that, you know, if, if you're a fan of yakisoba uh, and you need things that are quick and easy to make, uh, this is definitely something you should give a try. Uh, it did. It just cooked up beautifully. I will say this though, with how quick it cooked, I might, I would practice a bit with your uh, toppings, the vegetables, and the meats you want to use. I might even go straight to just using pre-cooked ingredients if possible, uh, just because it did. It cooked up so fast. The water came to a boil really quick. You only cook them for a couple of minutes and then the water evaporated so fast it just i think it was done in about five minutes to be honest uh so let's give this cola a quick try It's good. It, it tastes a little different than what I would expect from a cola, and it definitely has a strong citrus to it. Um, it's not super sweet, kind of like how Coca-Cola isn't very, very sweet uh, compared to other cola brands, um, but it has more of that citrus flavor to it. Um, if, if you're somebody who prefers their, col their sodas or their colas to not be super sweet, uh, this is definitely uh the co um, the cola for you uh especially with that citrus flavor to it it is really pretty tasty and at the same time uh just kind of a nice good compliment not overly sweet or anything like that i i like it a lot i think it's really good gochisawasama that's all we have for today thank you so much for joining me if you like my shirt the link for that is down in the comments at, down in the description below and thank you so much for joining me please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe johnny